So like with all my videos, I want to show you what you need for this particular setup to give yourself that beautiful best view of the outdoors. We have the A-frame here set up behind me and if you want to know how to set an A-frame up, go check out our previous video. But we're still going to use the same amount of 10 stakes so we don't need any extra 10 stakes. But what we do need extra of is cordage. You're going to need two extra hanks of cordage for your tie outs. You're going to need two staves. Staves or poles, call them what you will. About two thumbs thick and a little bit taller than yourself. You'll need two of them. And then what you're going to do, and the reason why we don't need 10 stakes, is because we're going to remove the 10 stakes from our A frame and flop it over. This gives us a setup, which is nice if you want to just lay underneath it and chill out but what we are going to do in this video is what's known as fly our doors or fly our tarp and kick the front of it out so we still have a bit of shelter but we get that great view so we remove the 10 stakes from the corner of our tarp again just for iteration our corner will have the 90 degrees we want to take one of our pieces of power cord with an overhand loop or bowline in one end we're going to pass it through and then we're going to take our hank and pass it through and just let all that cinch down together. It is very important, and I see sometimes tarps are like this, where they will be resting on the knot. You want to take that knot through and continue on to pinch this down because that knot will stop that happening and you want this nice and tight. This is basically what I mean by flying your tarp, is that you got your nice view here and you got that extra bit of coverage if you want to spread out your equipment or your gear. What you need to do is set your pole up about 12 inches or 30 centimeters from your knots. Then you got to choose, depending on what part of the world you're in, where do you wish for it to be further down. So yeah, you can still be open, but the rain will sheet off that way. Or you want it up higher so that the rain sheets off the back. But it is very important never to put it dead straight. You're going to put too much pressure on your tarp if bad weather rolls in. So either high and dry or low and snug. So the next thing we need to do is not have our spar or our pole sitting dead straight with the horizon or vertically in the air. It wants to be at a little bit of a tip. You don't need to put a point on the bottom of this and drive it into the ground. You can if you wish, but you just want to give it a little bit of a tip. And the angle that we're going to be tipping it at is where the tension of our tarp is coming through. Don't try and have it off to the side here. Don't try and have it off to the side here. We're following this tension line on our tarp. We're going to take our hank, we're going to come round the pole, and then we're going to go back under our line, and that'll pull nice and tight, and then we're going to go around once more, and that is going to keep tension on this. If you just go around the pole twice, in a bit of wind or a bit of inclement weather, this will start to slide up and down. That over and under bite or tension keeps all this nice and steady and where it should be. So we're going to walk backwards, away from our tarp, checking that our angle is perfect here. We're nice and high on the stick. And in fact, when you use living material, sometimes on trees you will get branch knots. That adds a bit of extra security, but I can see everything's okay. I'm going to come back, just like I would if I was tightening my tarp, and I'm keeping nice and tense. You can see the tension that's on my tarp. I'm going to decide where I want my tent stake to be. And then I'm going to use a Marlin spike hitch and place my tent stake into the ground. So it's great, a Marlin spike hitch. Some people like to use a taut line hitch to be able to adjust this, but I find that if you get this in the ground fast enough, it's totally, totally okay. So I take tension and I just see where I want my spike to go or my tent stake to go. I cross my lines like so, and then I walk up. And as I walk up, I take this bit through and you can see I've created this little loop. I put my tent stake in and through that loop. And that's what sailors used to use for keeping their marlin spikes on rigging lines. But that stays nice and tight. I can tuck it up underneath the hook. Out it comes. In it goes, 45 degree angle, tense. The reason why I also like to use the marlin spike is unlike taut line hitches or other kind of hitches, it's easier to just pull this out it all collapses, you've no knots in your line. So it's a very fast way to get a tent stake nice and tense into the ground. Tidy up my lines and on to the next one. That's 
perfect that is do do you do that do women do that you know when you walk past like a big thing of compost you know like the sacks you have to like slap them you know what i mean this is something about a tight tarp you have to constantly be fiddling with it to see what type it is <laughs> yeah, just out of curiosity no honest to god guys do do that yeah watch honestly if anybody was watching that they would agree with me that like in fact i mean you can ask in the comment section down below like that like you know compost big bags of compost and sand yeah. watch men when they're in shops to walk past and be like and they'll slap it they'll just constantly be slapping it i swear i swear they do it's like shaking the nozzle on a petrol i'm more those plastic bags with yeah soil, but that's because i want yeah, yeah, no. Watch for it. If anybody's watching, watch the men in those those farming shops. They'll be constantly slapping bags of soil. And same with ridge lines. It's like, you just constantly have to do it. But anyway, enough that ring. So there you have it, folks. That is how you fly the doors of your tarp. If the weather was a bit inclement, this is not what I would recommend. I mean, yes, you can put down extra tie-outs and stuff, but this is a good fair weather setup if you want to enjoy the outdoors. Add yourself a couple of Prusik loops, hang some lanterns off here, and you got yourself a good tarp setup for a good day. Till the next video, folks, take care.